Good morning, JHS. I'm Annalise Lowther. And I'm Kaden Sayo. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the morning, morning show. show. <laughs> Good morning, JHS students. I'm Kaden Sayo. I'm Ethan Taylor. I'm Cameron Dubble. I'm Annalise Lowther. I'm Alicia Weifers. I'm Nick Lusos. I'm Delaney Duran. I'm Sage Pino. I'm Annalise Martinez. And welcome to the morning show. And welcome to the morning show. And welcome to the morning show. And welcome back to the morning show. And welcome to the morning show. And welcome to the morning show. Grants High School will present the annual festival concert on Tuesday, March 7th at 7 p.m. in the Grants High School Auditorium. Admission is $5, and tickets are available in advance on the GHS website or Facebook page. Tickets may also be purchased at the door of the night of the concert. Proceeds from the concert support the activities of the GHS music program. We hope that you will join us on Tuesday, March 7th at 7 p.m. for the GHS festival concert. Tickets are now available for the GHS Performing Arts Spring Production, Peter Pan. Peter Pan will be presented on Friday, March 10th and Saturday, March 11th at 7 p.m. at the Grants High School Auditorium. Tickets are $10 and are available at our school website and our Facebook page as well. Peter Pan is being led by our GHS Drama Program and features performances by students from several schools in the Cibola County. Peter Pan is also being supported by the GHS Music Theater Technology classes. We hope that you will join us on March 10th and 11th. There's lots of GHS sports happening in the coming days, including from the GHS softball team, which leaves to Aztec today for three games at the Aztec tournament. The track team will also be busy tomorrow with its first meet of the season at Las Lunas. Are you excited for your meet on Saturday? Um, yes, I'm also very sad because that's my last first track meet because I'm a senior. And I'm also very scared because we're going against, you know, a lot of the 5A mm -hmm. schools, so. I bet you'll do good. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> The GHS baseball teams also play tomorrow with the varsity heading to Gallup for a doubleheader and the JV squad playing at home at Pirate Stadium. The GHS baseball teams also play tomorrow with the varsity heading to Gallup for a doubleheader and the JV squad playing at home at Pirate Stadium. We also have an exclusive interview by Abria Odioste of baseball player Cameron McDougall. Hello, I'm Abria Odioste here with varsity baseball player Cameron McDougall. And we're going to be asking him some questions about the baseball team. So the team opened up the season with a tournament win as you guys got first in the Valencia tournament. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, it was great. Um, the first game we played Hope Christian, um, we blew them out. It was actually amazing though, because I heard they're a really good team, but it turns out we just went out there with a good mindset and blew them out. That's good. Nice. What assets do you guys need to work on as a team in order for you guys to have an outstanding season? Um, I feel like our energy is a big part because I feel like if we're all hype and we all have that same mentality, yeah. we're all such hype and like ready to win a game. Yeah. With positive, there's also negative. So can you talk about the unfortunate loss against Volcano Vista and what you guys could have done better to provide a better outcome? Um, you know, I feel like there's always someone better than you. I mean, Volcano Vista, I mean, they're an amazing school. I mean, all their yeah. sports are great. And especially baseball, I mean, those kids are outstanding with it. But I feel like if we were just more like energetic and really with that vibe instead yeah. of like so down on ourselves and thinking we we're gonna lose mm -hmm. I think we would have done amazing yeah that's true that would have helped a lot so then with your next game coming up against Gallup on Saturday what are you going to do as an individual yourself to better yourself as an asset to the team um I feel like just being like supportive and being there for my teammates not being down on everyone and just really helping them like Baseball is a really hard sport as it is, mm -hmm. and I don't like to make it any harder than it already is. Yeah. So I like to really support my teammates. And when you get in your head sometimes, it makes it harder. And it... Oh, 100% sure. <laughs> yeah. What would the team need to do in order to come up with a win? Um, like I said, just energetic, stay with the vibe, and be ready to play. Then on Monday, the GHS tennis teams will host Farmington, so don't miss a chance to catch the Pirates at home. So how about you? Are you excited for that tennis match? Not really. Farmington's a really tough team, and it's their JV team, so it's oh. going to be pretty intense. Well, I believe in you, so thank you. thank you. Finally in sports, reporter Roberto Chavez recently spoke with GHS boys basketball captain Bodhi Malones about the conclusion of the season. Let's take a look. Good morning, GHS. My name is Roberto Chavez, and I'm here with captain of the basketball team, Bodhi Malones. I'm going to be asking him a few questions about the basketball season. So my first question is, last week was the first round of district. What, how do you feel about that game? We took a tough loss. I mean, it is what it is, but 
we stay fighting, you know, there's just, they have a couple more advantages, you know, height, of course, and just took a tough loss. Talk about the highs and lows of this basketball season. Highs and lows. I say at first a little bit of the chemistry. We weren't all on the same page a little bit, but now we're, or towards the end of the season, we were good. We were, we had a little brotherhood there at the end. So how are you looking to improve this off season? Me, myself, I say, you know, take the weight room a little bit more serious. Um, shooting, of course, a little bit of ball handling. Yeah. You're going to be attending all the off-season practices? Hopefully, yeah. Yes. So what are your expectations for next season, considering this was a very young team? Yeah, of course we're young, but I feel like I feel like we can take it all next year because I don't think any team can hang with us. You know, the speed we got, the talent. And, like, this year we're only losing one senior, so I feel like we can take it all. All right. Appreciate you. With graduation just around the corner, seniors, and all students for that matter, might be interested in the Apply Now workshops being offered at NMSU Grants. They happen every Thursday from 3 to 5 p.m. at the NMSU Grants Student Success Center, where a member of the Student Services team will be present to assist students with college applications and financial aid. Call 505-287-6620 for more information. Attention all freshmen, are you looking to get involved in your school community and make a difference? Running for class office is a great opportunity to do just that. You'll have the chance to represent your classmates, plan events and activities, and help create a positive school culture. Don't miss out on this opportunity to develop leadership skills and have your voice heard. Take the first step and run for class office today. Pick up an application this week from your social studies teacher. Once completed, turn it into room 119 to Ms. Lampson. The application for the National Honor Society GHS chapter is open. For those that are interested, they can email Mrs. Pasamonte or visit her in room 241. That's, That's all we have for today. And remember, we are GHS for success.